Bobby Blanco with another series insight here at the PNC Digital Desk, PNC Bank helping to make a difference. Let's take a quick look back at the Nationals previous game before looking ahead to the upcoming series. The Nats are back on the road after another successful homestand, winning seven of nine games, capped off by a 4-3 win over the Phillies in Sunday's Little League Classic in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. The Nats got six shutout innings of two-hit ball from Trevor Williams and two RBIs apiece from Cabrera Ruiz and Dominic Smith to take two of three from the Phils over the weekend. Now after Monday's off day, they embark on a nine-game road trip starting with three games against the Yankees in the Bronx. Would you believe it? The Nats are only three and a half games behind the Yankees in the overall standings while making their first trip to Yankee Stadium since 2021. Josiah Gray is looking to get back on track in Tuesday's opener. The young right-hander hasn't provided a lot of length over his last three starts, failing to complete five innings in any of them, but the New York native historically pitches well when back in his home state. Left-hander Carlos Rodon returns from his second trip to the injured list to make the start for the Yankees after signing a six-year, $162 million contract with New York in December. The Southpaw missed the start of this season with a forearm strain and was recently dealing with a hamstring issue, limiting him to just 27 innings on the year. C.J. Abrams is your player to watch this week. He is third in the NL with 33 stolen bases and has been crushing the ball since moving to the leadoff spot, including a go-ahead three-run home run against the Phillies last week. And that will just about do it for us here at the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make a difference.